Hey guys, welcome back to the table. Sorry about that, we'll just making sure the camera's recording. I haven't got any little helpers with me because the sun is getting on in the evening. Um, well guys, uh, it's been a good day today. Managed to put out a couple of fly videos. Uh, myself and Nick went out for a fly at the field earlier after work. And uh, it turned out pretty well. We had a good bit of fun with the Jet Radian. Thanks again, James Marshall, for that. And uh, yeah, that's a fun, fun bird to fly. It flies gentle like the Radian would do, but it's got that added soundtrack of the EDF. We'll put a 4S in there for the next flight and we'll have a blast with it. Um, if you haven't seen the uh, video yet, check out the uh, Jet Rad Fun with Nick's 20, uh, T28 Trojan. We had a really good blast. Um, also had a few uh, minor issues with Nick's extra 300. He asked me to make Nick because he wants to progress up to doing a bit more aerobatic stuff. He's getting pretty uh, full on at the moment with his uh, T28, so he's getting pretty good with that, um, getting very comfortable. And he naturally wants to move up. He's flown his Cessna, wants to put a few more flights in on his Cessna and then move on to the extra. So, but we've had a few elevator issues with that. We've got the model here. Um, we'll fix it for him and we'll get that back up flying again. So anyway, like I say guys, it's been a good day today. Um, whilst at work, I've been traveling around the countryside and past a few museums. Uh, we popped into RF Hawkins for, um, for, for a little while. Had a little wander around in their shop and then ended up coming away with a new flying hoodie. So we've got our uh, Spitfire on there. And then we moved on, I did a couple more jobs and then ended up at another museum which was uh, Manston, the Manston Spitfire and Hurricane Museum. So we took a couple of pictures there, here are the pictures. And also uh, we stopped at Hawkins um, uh, Historical Museum, no sorry, Manston Historical Museum we stopped at. Um, and uh, I tried getting a couple of bits from each shop anyway, but we got ourselves a uh, 50 cow from uh, Manston. As strange as it is, it's... it's it was a very nice piece, one of the, the biggest uh, full shells and bullets that I've, I've got. But anyway, obviously it's all decommissioned, it's been fired, it's been put back together as an ornament. So anyway guys, the reason for the video this evening, uh, Alan42 sent me a picture last night of a little purchase he made. The Red 5 Mega Glide, I can see it's been sitting here on the table. And uh, he sent me a picture of it and instantly, instantly I was impressed. And I had to go and get a couple. Nick's got one of them. He's going to RC convert this as a Sora. Or he, might, he said he might have put an EDF in it. But I've got some ideas for this. Um, I should be playing the Indiana Jones music right about now. Anyway, guys, we're going to get this out of the box. Thanks again, I'm 42, for pointing us in the right direction of this. The last two on the shelf, by the way. I got the last one, Nick got one as well. Right, this is a big bungee launch glider, Red 5 Mega Glider, lightweight, long distance plane. And the box says over a hundred, uh, sorry, over 1.5 meters wide and over 150 meters. Um, what's it say there? 
using launch system. So it's got a bungee system with it anyway. Let's put it all out of the box. Without damaging it. I think we'll slide them out together. There we go. It's like Christmas, guys. Every time you take something out of a box. We've got our bungee launch system. We have got some stickers. Some more stickers. Some more stickers. And a basic instruction manual with where all the stickers will go on the aircraft, I suppose we can call it. Now guys, when I get this together, you'll see uh, what I'm talking about when I mention the Indiana Jones music, but I think you will anyway. It screamed out a certain things to me, we'll go through it in a moment. So, we've got our 1.5 metre glider. How does it fit together? We've got our interlocking system there. Second wing together. The right way round, it won't fly if we put it the wrong way round. There we go. That's a nice little interlocking system. We've got our strange little fuselage here with a little bungee launch hook on it. Being slot straight into the fuselage. There we go, we're built. That's a fairly big model, guys. So, anyway, when Alan sent me the picture of uh, this that he picked up, I instantly had to have one because of when I was growing up, as I'm sure a lot of you chaps uh, will, will know, a lot of you guys are the same sort of era as me. The films were Star Wars, adventure films, and my personal, personal favourite, Indiana Jones. I grew up on Indiana Jones and Battle of Britain. So, a lot of people will remember Raiders of the Lost Ark and one of the later scenes in there with the, uh, with the aeroplane fight scene. It was a, a Halton something or other or something like that or it might have even just been an experimental aircraft for the film however the shape of this aircraft i don't know if you can see the uh the heaval in the wings there screamed out to me straight away indiana jones so uh we're going to convert this to rc with pusher and we're going to reshape some of it and we're going to give it the look of the German Indiana Jones aircraft or the, the German aircraft in the end of Raiders of the Lost Ark. Um, we'll leave you with a little clip of that scene now. So all you guys that don't know what I'm talking about, this is what I'm talking about. We're gonna fly it out of here. That arc gets loaded, we're already gonna be on the plane. guys one of my favorite scenes growing up in a film um 
it's a shame really because the uh, the girl in the shop when we went to get the the, uh, the gliders, I explained to her. I said it looks like the uh, Indiana Jones aeroplane, and the girl, probably in her twenties, said never even heard of it. Haven't haven't heard of Indiana Jones. What is the world coming to, guys? Um, so yeah, so we're going to go with a bit of a German scheme. It's not going to be a bang on replica, but we're going to go with a German scheme with it, and we're going to make it look a bit like that. I've got a pair of the 70 millimeter MiG-15 drop tanks, which we're going to use for the booms. I'll brace them inside, and we'll have some little motor mounts in the back of them, and we're going to run it on um, two little pushers. So we're going to try and make it semi-scale like that. Obviously, we'll remove the fin. We'll do a little bit of something with the nose. I've got a I did want to cut the nose down short, but I've got a feeling if I cut the nose down short and I make my own glazing just to have a bit of a play and a bit of a tin cut, when we've got the booms hanging way out back here and the motors on the back, we're going to be really towel heavy. And we're going to have to put a lot of lead in this very short nose to get it to balance. And hence, it's going to take away the lightness of it. I think the wings need sparring as well. We're going to have a flat flock seagull. <laughs> Probably because the, the joints are not bonded. But anyway, I think we're going to keep the nose. We'll sort of reshape it a little bit, but I think we need the overhanging nose to keep the C of G forwards. I don't know, guys. I'll, I'll sort of, I think I'll, I'll go with the flow as we go, because these little areas here look like they could be cut off quite nicely to create an aileron. Um, we'll have to use a delta mix in it like you would a Zaggy or a delta. So we've got Elevon, I think it is. You've got Aileron and Ele Elevon in the control surfaces. But we can play about with this, guys. This is a fun looking airframe to play about with. I will try not to yabber on too much longer. But there we go, guys. These are actually on the market at the moment. It's a Red 5 Mega Glider. Go and get older one, guys, if you can. Now, online. UK prices, you're looking at about £15 sterling. Uh, I don't know what that is in dollars, probably about what, $18.50. However, I did get some very, very good deals on these two. They, the, the shop I got them from, Mankind, I'll give Mankind a mention, it's a big shop. Uh, when I was speaking to the girl on the phone, she said that she would uh, price match them to the internet price, which was nine pound 99 ten pound uh, and they were they were 15 quid in the shop and when they were collected today the guy did an even better deal for us so we got these models for eight pound that's a big glider for eight pound and there's there's a lot you can probably do with that for eight pound i'm looking forward to spending next week just tinkering putting some german markings on it and just it being a bit of a weathering haven to be honest so anyway guys we're going to leave it at that there's our uh, unboxing this evening of the red 5 mega glider thanks for everybody's comments and some support um i'm glad uh, a lot of you like the jet radian that's been the highlight to my week so far but there's more to come guys stay tuned thumbs up and peace out and a shout out again to Dave. Thanks for watching guys.